Good morning, everybody. Thank you guys for coming. So you've gotten yourself into an entire movement, and it's a movement sweeping the world about reclaiming making. No matter how wacky or weird this all feels, trust the process. About a month ago, I had the opportunity to come to Eagle River and uh, take part in a Maker Day. I had a fabulous day and really loved the experience and wanted to expose uh, some of my students to it, so we had that opportunity today. Uh, we started drawing up ideas for projects to make. What would they look like? Like pockets or like, and then like this like comes down, there's like a shelf there and there's like a shelf there. Maker Day is a good example of interdisciplinary learning where we have uh, learning outcomes from what would be traditional disciplines all blended together to create a, a relevant and a real project. One, one kid says one thing and the other kid says, oh, that's an interesting idea, this is what I thought, and it becomes a small idea, it gets bigger through teamwork. That's a very important thing. If you want somebody to remember something, they have to ask their own questions. Really? I think we should get red and purple. Yeah, I know. Well, ITA is really interested in Maker Day because we really want to try to reach kids younger and we've, we've learned that we need to start as early as kindergarten to really getting them um, working with their hands, building things, having fun, and maybe someday that will lead to an interest in the trades. Yeah, I still learned a lot. Like, I learned how to use the saws and a measuring tape. I think sometimes in traditional education we force collaboration. And I think Maker Day, by starting with design thinking and the empathy, and then forcing them to respond to a design challenge, it's an authentic use of all those skills. It's not false, it's real. Well, a lot of the time we're sitting in desks doing book work and stuff, so I really like doing this because it's hands-on and we get the freedom to do what we want to do with our decisions. There's a lot more group work in it too, and a lot more communication rather than individual work. It feels kind of weird because I haven't done this before, but yeah, <laughs> I'm warming up to it. Good. Um, and here, this comes off and turns into just a normal desk. And here is the planter where you can have underground or rooted plants. There's a process to being creative. You know, people don't just wake up in the morning and are creative or uncreative or more or less. Or, you know, imagination and creativity take work. And this was amazing. I love this. I had a lot of fun. It was awesome.